Hi, I'm Josh on our farm here in Tokara. We have myself, Jack, who is our farm assistant, my wife Karina, and we have our twins that are four years old, Kyle and Olivia, and Natalie, who's 18 months old. Yeah, we're 50-50 share milkers just north of Tokara. Currently in the first season on this farm, we buy in 100 tonne of pasture silage and 60 tonne of palm kernel. We make part any surplus grass into silage on farm, plus we grow six hectares of maize on farm, and that's, so that's the only board and feed is the palm kernel and grass silage. We're on target for about 480 kilos per cow. I've been in and around the dairy industry all my life. My father has had Jersey cows since he was 15. So, yeah, dairy farming's in my blood. I've been around it all my life. Showing cattle, calf club, all the way through. Um, got into it early and it's just my life. <laughs> Karina, my wife, she comes from a farming family as well. Her parents own a dairy farm in Tiaraha. She worked in Jersey New Zealand while she was studying at Waikato University in the office for three years um, in a part-time role dealing with uh, members and registrations. Within Jersey New Zealand I'm on the Jersey Genome Committee. I, my father was Vice President for many years, over 20. Um, we, so we've always been around Jersey New Zealand, we register all our um, calves every year. We TOP all our rising two heifers. Our breeding plans and goals, we're always looking to breed a cow with the best possible outcome, efficiency for production, for turning feed into product. And the best we can do is by breeding a cow that'll do the most production for the littlest input while also monitoring other things within our control. Um, there's plenty of choices out there and you've just got to look at what you want to get to breed the right animal for you. Key focuses for us in cows would be production, um, good feet and legs because they've got to walk around our farm um, and good udders but also we like to look at the environmental factors. Um, stature, we don't want a big huge tall cow, we want a good compact cow that's going to do the production plenty of body capacity and just a good hardy cow. As 50-50 Shemokers we found the Jersey cow fits us best. They got they just get in calf so easily. We have we don't have to worry about it. They um, we have very low cell counts. They come we don't have calving trouble. We're just not losing the number of stock that I found we lost sometimes when I was managing with other breeds. Um, they, you yeah, turn up at the paddock and there's four or five calves there and it was, you're only there two hours ago. Um, and yeah, feet, good hard feet and legs. They've always had reasonably good legs and black feet. They don't get sore feet. We have been within my family, my father before me, we were using Viking genetics for 30 years, or roughly. Um, we started off with some of the early sires like Fin Index, Fin Limbig. Um, then about 10 years ago we had a very good run of DJ Topholm, DJ Hovberg, right through till now we've got calves on the ground by Hilton, um, VJ Hitman, VJ Garrant, got in milk heifers by VJ Hilly and VJ Hiwi, uh, younger cows by Lua, Licks, and we haven't really had too many failures from Danish bulls. And they just gives us that outcross genetics in our herd and saying that we still feel works for the New Zealand system. I'm very happy to keep using them and the strength of the Jersey cows. The future of efficiency on farm we feel is a cow that is going to produce the most product from the littlest inputs where it's only going to get worse in this industry for the restrictions around water use, nitrogen use and other inputs of fertiliser and, and gases and methanes, we've got to be producing the most product, the best profitable way for the littlest input and around that we need to use breeding as a main way to get there. 
Yeah, we've, we've, had, we've found Sam in New Zealand very good to work with. Um, we've had very good service from Craig and also moving back to Tokara and having Victor as our rep again is good to have someone that's keen to get on farm, have a look at the cows and deliver your semen when it's needed. Um, no, you never get asked a second question or why you want it then or there, it happens.